What is going on everybody? It's your boy Arley, aka Young Garlic, coming to you with another day of our trading journal. Um, the series we're doing, we're following me as a new trader and uh, watching my progress and my growth and hopefully give other new traders a sense of what it takes to become profitable in the markets. Um, as always, our Discord is down below. Please come check us out over at Arcane Society. We do live trading, live analysis daily. Our socials are down below as well. Please come follow us on those, like some of our content. Um, yeah, let's get started. Huge day for the account. One of the best days I've had um, in my trading career in terms of execution and just straight up being confident in the thesis. Um, biggest uh, day since we started the challenge, $163 day for us up 35% on the account. The account is sitting at 636. Um, you know, so we started at a little bit under 500 and for, yeah, 500 and we closed at about... 636 um crazy day though um i'll we'll go over why here right now um so let's look at amd i was short amd um because i'll show you why i held amd a lot um i'm getting better at respecting my thesis and knowing what i'm like it's like if it's i'm not holding runners or holding a trade that i think is bad i'm holding trades long because i know i have a thesis All right so if we look at soxel today soxel kind of strong in the beginning but spy is super weak amd was strong as hell but soxel didn't was soxel was not as strong you know it wasn't strong enough for this amd move to be legit um and i'm pretty sure too if you look at amd um, it's in a supply. It was in a supply zone. Let me see. Yeah, we we're in a supply zone, right? Um, so, I mean, I was just short AMD today, right? Um, I entered a little early though. I shorted my first contract. Uh, ugh, excuse me. Nine forty-five. Right. So a little bit early. Uh, here shorted around here um, and then I average down at 1015 up here All right so this uptrend is strong I didn't think we would go up as much as we did because Soxa was so weak and spy was dumping all day so it's like this AMD this doesn't make sense so I averaged down about two here and then two up here and I rode this thing out, all right? Uh, sold one at 11.17, so down here. And then I sold another one at 11.21, down here. And I'm pretty sure I sold one at 11.26. And then I sold the last one at 11.33. So this is a humongous trade in terms of returns. I think my average price was 110. And then we um, we managed to close out. So what's that? Three, seven, fifty-seven. Huge trade. It's a hundred dollar plus trade. Um, was my entry early in the beginning? Yes, but I had my thesis. All right, like like if we compared Soxel spot, like if I just click through these AMD Soxel, like AMD is strong. Soxel's kind of strong. But Spy's weak. There's money in Soxel, but it, it can't do this. Like, the semis can't hold this whole thing up. And it tried, but it couldn't. If you watch the uptrend slowing down, strong. And then, as you can see, it's just getting weaker and weaker. And then we eventually start topping. And when I saw these start printing, I kind of knew we were in the clear. Um, so, yeah, that was a good trade there. Um, and then I also messed around with Spy again today because Spy was. I mean, easy, easy to trade today, just bloody. So I bought, I had a bad, in, not a bad entry, just I got shook out, <sighs> shorted here. So good entry, all right. And then I ended up closing up here. This was like a, I don't know, what's that, 30, $25 loss or something, a zero DTE. Um, so I don't like trading these and then took another short 
over here. 11.57, so nice short here. Um, see this wick, um, this long upper wick weakness. Can't really, it's trying to hold above this level right here that we bounced off of, but it's struggling. It can't reclaim this level, so it's struggling. Bought three zero DTEs here. Sold one at 12.09, so on this breakdown, and I ended, actually I closed all of them down here. And that was, that was a nice play. That was a $30 play. Um, so super happy with that. And then I bought another put at 12.17. So we were just shorting everything and we were hitting. So perfect entry on this and close this at 12.28. So nice trade. Nice trade. Um, $30 gain there. And then we did another short at 392 0, 0 DT on this one. This one, this 1217 one was a Friday, and I like I like that one better. Um, just because, I mean, I don't know, it was easier to play. I was so, I'm so much worried about the 0 DTE um, eating me up. And then 1324 here took another put and then ended up closing it at like uh, 1328 so over here um but if i would have held all these if i would have just held one of these i took earlier I would've, it would have been a big game but at the end of the day i was just scalping um i'm not confident enough in like like we i had a huge huge play today this morning on AMD, right? My thesis was there. Sorry about Milo. My girlfriend just got home, I think. So he's he's freaking out. Um, but I, I mean, it was just a good day. So I didn't want to oversize, over risk anything. Um, but yeah, huge day, right? Um, I'm kind of nervous though because I've been performing super well the past uh, week and a half, two weeks. And I'm not sure if that means I've bottomed as a trader and we are seeing positive progress, which I think has a lot to do with it. Um, I can't tell if this market's easy to trade. It doesn't feel easy to trade. I mean, today was easy. It was an easy short, right? But um, it just, I don't know. Just going to keep going. Not going to think into it too much. Going to do some more uh, studying tonight, do some reading, uh, log my trades. Um, but yeah, I need to. I do need to continue to work on being patient. Um, like this AMD, I jumped the gun a little bit. Um, Cause like this would have been the perfect entry. Look at this bullish anomaly here. Bears are in. Um, but at the end of the day, I had a thesis. I just could have made more money. I could have taken more contracts up here for far cheaper and been fine. But it is what it is. So. I mean, God, this was such a nice move down, though. I had, I was in 98 puts. I would have been in the money deep, but I just, I don't know, just closed. I got like, it was like 80% or something. Um, would have been 300%, but I will take three, 80% all day. If when I'm like able to trade 10 or 12 contracts at a time, I will definitely be leaving like one or two runners to run long. Like if I'm making 40 or 50% on six contracts. And then I will leave the rest and just set break evens and let them things ride, right? Or even just one or two and let them ride. Just, I mean, if they go zero or whatever, they're not going to kill me, right? But that's stuff for the future. Um, we're just going to keep grinding. But yeah, huge day today on AMD. Um, am I able to see how much I made just today? I made $120 in that AMD trade. And the rest were spy scalps. So, um, yeah, just. This is actually, I'm at the point now where I was when I blew the account up. I started with $700, and I'm at 640 So, uh, this is, um, it's been fun so far. Um, I am becoming profitable. I'm profitable if considering where I started the journey at 80. Um, so 80 to 636 is pretty good. Um, it's really been a month. Um, if I think about it. Uh, yeah. So, let's say, what, what day did we start the challenge? It was like April 10th or something, right? I 
again, sorry for my, about Milo, he is not in stress, I promise. Um, I don't know, anyways, but just really thankful for you guys, really thankful for um, where we are so far. We're gonna keep grinding though. Um, I told Riley I'm nervous because I just don't know if I'm just getting lucky a lot or if I'm just becoming a good trader, but we'll see. Um, just gonna keep on working on being patient. I think that's my biggest issue right now. I'm seeing markets really well. Like this is, oh man, I wish I would've seen this. Like I knew that we were, like, I think this is what I saw yesterday, like that we were, I wanted, I don't know. I should have seen this and not shorted yet, but whatever. Well, I'll go over those by myself, but that's all I got for you guys. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much. Um, as always for the support, I had a lot of support today, posting my profits and arcane. Um, you guys should come check us out. We're hearing a lot of good things. There's been a lot of positive info lately to the server. I think we're starting to get some traction. Um, on growth because I think people are realizing that we're just just good people man we just want to we just want to make money we want to help people change their lives it sounds so corny and so like gross saying it like that but um, putting in the work into this stuff can really really do a lot of things for you um, like this is something I want to do full time one day but we'll cross those bridges when we get there I'm doing a lot of wishful thinking right now I need to quit it's very unhealthy to do especially because I haven't even started to make a dent in my uh, potential but i will um i'll keep grinding for you guys you guys keep up the good support keep up the um the good work on y'all's end uh, my weevils down below if you guys want to swap brokers or start day trading please use my link when you sign up yes this is my shameless plug um you do that we both get some free stocks um so i think there's a chance to get like tesla and stuff so it could be a good good little boost to the port um but yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I love you guys. Check out our links below. Check out our Discord and everything. And um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.